BJP candidate and sitting public works minister T.H. Biswajit Singh filed his nomination for the upcoming Manipur elections today at the RO office in Porampat, Imphal East. Now, Biswajit Singh will be contesting from the Thongu Assembly constituency and will be going up against Congress candidate Seram Niken, who has also filed his candidature. From the uh, BJP party, who is also a national council member, uh, Thongam Brisojit, who is, has officially entered into the 2022 fray for Thongzhu Assembly constituencies. And now, uh, let's listen from the, this uh, BJP key figure. So, sir, how do you see the political scenario after 10 Mars? See, uh, political scenario is uh, going on smoothly because sometimes, somewhere it happens and uh, uh, creating problems socially. That is uh, the, in the no nominal uh, in the areas. So I feel, so as a BJP man, so since we have been doing a good job, a good thing here, and uh, we have been serving for the last many years, even in, during the COVID also, no party uh, was not seen in any field. So only the BJP party created all kind of the positive atmosphere around us. So I feel to BJP, there is no other party to who, who can fight BJP. So BJP will form the government. And I'm, I, I can say proudly because we have done a good job for the people. When we look at the 2017 scenario and yes. 2022 scenario, yes. Yes. we have seen a lots of uh, candidates turning up because every political party has nominated one to two candidates. Every constituency has at least minimum three candidates. So when you look at the key figure of uh, this number of candidates, mm -hmm. so how do you, you know, justify the BJP claims for Alke Bar, Chalis Bar, which was announced in your assembly constitution yes, 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 by the Sambit Patra. Yes, not only Sambit Patra, that was decided by our leaders. Abkibas Ali Zbar, that is the 40 plus. And see, so we must be having the four or five Indian candidates, even in the Congress party and in other party also it's having. And the BJP is the largest party and even in Manipur it is the leading party now. So everyone will uh, be having the good, uh, I mean the opportunity to get a ticket in our party. And they want to be the candidate from our party only. So they have worked for the BJP party and they have delivered the good thing and all kind of the facility to the people through BJP. That's why even if they, I mean, defect from the BJP party. So the BJP, BJP man and Karkata, those who have been met by themselves will remain with us only. They can go away from us, but the all the Karkata with us. That is how we can say proudly, Abki Bar Salis Bar. Now, earlier in the day, ex-forest and environment minister T.H. Shyam Kumar, who is the BJP candidate from Andro seat, also officially entered the election fray and filed his nomination before the RO of Imphal East at Porampat. Now, Shyam Kumar will face opponents including the NPP candidate L. Sanjoy, INC candidate K. Ningthem Jao and independent candidate A. Bailey. and Environment Minister of Manipur, Thonazam Samkumar, who has officially entered into the uh, 2022 fray from the BJP ticket of Andro Assembly constituency. So, uh, beside me is Dei Samkumar. You are fighting a, in this election uh, because uh, with a lot of contestants. So, how do you see the this upcoming election? But it is the people's, people will choose, no? But I cannot say now. So, we'll come to know on the 10th of mass. So yeah. it's, it's a fight going to be a tough or very easy one? Uh, I get them, it's very easy to fight. That was uh, Thonajam Samkumar who was the forest and environment minister from under assembly constituency and uh, he has officially uh, entered into the fray by filing his nomination before the RO Imphal which is located in Porompat in Imphal is district of uh, Manipur and more and more uh, candidates are coming to this uh, district RO office to file their nomination. This is Gautam Sharma reporting for Notice Live with uh, camera person Jenta Dutt. Now other candidates who have filed their nominations today include NPP candidate Sheikh Noor Hassan for Shatrigao AC as well as BJP candidate L. Rameshwar for Khairao AC.